Hello everyone, this is Adam Dye, N4NT, the Bristol Amateur Radio Club President, and this is the August 2020 audio edition, audio video edition of the official newsletter of the Bristol Amateur Radio Club called the QRM. Uh, just a couple quick reminders, anytime you see a picture like this on the newsletter, uh, like the club logo, you can usually click on it and it'll take you somewhere. Uh, this uh, club logo will take you to the club Facebook page and uh, of course this will take you to the AWRL website. Uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing now that we've uh, been able to go in and <clears throat> make some updates and changes to the club website, I may for the next letter uh, newsletter change this link to where you go to the club website which then in turn can link you to the club Facebook page. Alright, so under our general announcements and news, uh, our upcoming meeting is August the 6th, 2020 at 7 p.m. Uh, due to the COVID-19 issues, we will not be able to meet in person again. I um, was kind of hoping we'd get to do that this month, but that's, uh, that's not going to work out due to our meeting place. Uh, as things, we'll, we'll keep an eye on things, and as they change, uh, we'll look at possibilities and see if we can either get back to the hospital or if that's not a possibility, maybe uh, we can find a temporary facility that's... Uh, that's suitable, maybe even big enough to where, uh, you know, if we're still having to do the social distancing thing, uh, all that's possible. But uh, I'd love to find find something, figure something out to be able to uh, to do that. So in the meantime, uh, I know in the pa past few months we've been meeting on the air, uh, and I still want to leave that option viable, of course, in case someone just uh, has to connect that way. But uh, I come up with. Uh, a uh, meeting room based on a program that I saw used with another group that works really well uh, and it's an online group uh, online free service it's called uh, I guess it's pronounced Jitsi J-I-T-S-I meet and in the email that I sent out to you a few days ago or in the club newsletter all you have to do is click on this link right here and it will take you uh, to the meeting if you've got a microphone um, at least on your uh, Computer. I've not tried it without a camera, but I do know you can turn the camera portion off and only have audio. You don't have to be on video. And you can join the meeting room that way. Uh, you can also dial this phone number right here, put in this uh, pin number with the pound sign at the end, and you can join via telephone. This link right here works for any uh, computer, smartphone, anything like that. You can click on it from a smartphone and go straight to the meeting. It gives you the option to do that. Or you can download their app and then it'll take you straight to the meeting room. This meeting room is always there and always available. I'm going to click on it right now and uh, hope for the best. Okay. So yeah, you just go in there, um, allow it to use your microphone and all that kind of stuff. And boom, there you are. So let me... Uh, Pull that newsletter back up. Get rid of that. Uh, I did a video on how to navigate this program um, over on the uh, Ham Radio Zone YouTube channel, and you can just go to the YouTube channel, and it's right there in the uh, uh, playlist or in the yeah the list of videos, and it's about a 10-minute video. And basically, what it does is just show you. The simple stuff of logging is it's really not a hard program to use you just uh, click on it and go but it shows you the little functions like how to turn your camera off and on how to turn your microphone off and on um, you can actually have like type chats or what have, what have you with uh, people during the meeting and uh, you can do some other advanced stuff like sharing your screen and so forth I may use some of those features throughout the meeting just to share information with you um, but again, we'll also monitor 6-7. We'll just do that in FM mode at this point. Um, any, anyone should be able to join us through the uh, online session. But uh, again, if, if you don't want to do that, you've got the dial-in or, uh, or the repeater. Um, the only thing with being on the repeater, we will kind of have to relay what's going on to you. And I'll try to sort of moderate that and do that uh, as well. Just try to get make sure that whoever's out there on the repeater gets the information. Uh, reminder, as normal, our weekly club net, 9 o'clock p.m. on the FM side of the repeater, no PL tone to get into the repeater, but uh, you do uh, you do have an option if you want to put uh, 6, 7.0 tone in your radio, it will uh, help uh, keep 
any noise down, uh, whether it be if you're on the analog side only and the digital side's working, you won't have to listen to the digital noise. Also comes in handy because that particular frequency, I've noticed over the years, you pull up next to a gas pump or something, it makes a lot of noise that it keeps you from having to listen to that. And Chris K4XMN uh, is the net controller and I sub in there uh, sometimes myself. And don't forget about the uh, fusion net right after the uh, analog net. Uh, if the analog net runs past 9.30, of course, we yield to the uh, analog net until it's done, and then we start up. Um, that usually is not a not a problem or not a factor, but uh, if the analog net ends early, then I try to get over on the uh, fusion side and start taking check-ins early, just build the list before we officially start the net. Uh, the 6.7 repeater, also the 4.4.3 on white top have been... Uh, is always connected to the net. Uh, 443 is only there during net time and then uh, drops out any other time. But we do have that option of linking up with them anytime we need to. Um, and then this month I got notified by uh, K, uh, K4MFD that he is going to connect the 145.150 repeater um, not only to the net, but he's just going to leave his, uh, his node connected full time. So basically what that means is if you get over on the fusion side of the 146.67 repeater, then you have not only the coverage area of the 6.7, now you have the coverage area of the uh, 145.150 uh, full time. Or if you're down that way, get on that repeater and you can communicate back up here. I know there's some overlapping coverage there, but uh, it it definitely extends uh, for for us greatly. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty cool news. Uh, they were connected to the last fusion net, and we picked up some check-ins from the Knoxville area. In fact, I think a Knoxville uh, node or repeater may have connected in with us as well. And uh, we had the AWRL Tennessee section manager check in with us, which is pretty neat. Um, starting this coming Tuesday, because the date of this uh, video, as you can see, is August the 3rd, and this is a Monday. So uh, tomorrow for me, uh, right now, the 440.5375 repeater in Jasper, Georgia is going to be connecting during the fusion net time and that uh, I'm not real familiar with that repeater as far as ever being able to use it however I was talking to the owner uh, Dennis K4PU he said that that coverage area it's on an elevation of uh, a little over 3,000 feet and that that um, repeater coverage area extends into uh, a portion of Tennessee I don't think it catches up here where we are necessarily but it uh, it basically gives us another coverage area for that net during the during net time uh, we have some folks um, in another section of Georgia as well as uh, West Virginia that connect with us and sometimes we have a node that is uh, based in uh, right outside of Chicago that connects with us that uh, it actually has uh, has some other digital mode access coming into it so we could we're not just picking up Chicago with that. We're pick up. Uh, we can pick up all kinds of different uh, areas. So um, be sure and uh, check in with the uh, the Fusion Net. It's it's definitely growing and uh, it's uh, becoming an interesting uh, interesting net with the way we do the format and everything. So um, and just a reminder that we do have the Wires X room if you're. Uh, if you're looking to get into uh, digital and uh, and connect with Wires X at six one two four three, it was pretty pretty neat uh, little feature with that. Um, I was able to travel to uh, Florida a few weeks ago, and I actually called the Fusion Net from Florida by connecting to the room and, and doing it that way. So uh, and actually had a couple QSOs throughout the week with with people just out riding around in Bristol using the six seven repeater, and I was using the internet link to uh, connect in from Florida. Um, as a reminder, club dues, you know, they're taking those anytime. We did uh, vote in April to extend the cutoff period for the 2019 folks um, until we can meet in person again. Uh, we can't have the license testing sessions at the moment because of that. Um, and then President's Column, I'm not going to rehash what I've already talked to you about, but uh, I did mention earlier about the uh, Viking Mountain and uh, the Jasper, Georgia repeater. Um, yeah, I just found a, 
it says chickens. It's supposed to say chickens. I, I overlooked that uh, typo, and I'm usually pretty good about running over this and editing it pretty well, but I've, I've already sent it out, so... Uh, I didn't mean to call those people chickens. It's check-ins. My bad. Uh, anyway, and then there's also an explanation about the uh, online meeting and how that you can uh, use a smartphone. I've, I've already talked about that. Uh, field day looks like we uh, had some good participation. Don't know any official numbers yet because it was late in uh, July that the um, – the middle to late in July that the, the logs were due. You had some time on those, so I'm sure – there, that information might be out there. I just haven't located it myself. Um, and also, and I'm, I'm going to wait till the club meeting to actually, uh, oh, there's another typo. I missed it. It spelled uh, four on my dictation thing. Uh, W4CBX, uh, talked to him, Gary, and uh, about the 147000 repeater. And I will wait till the, uh, club meeting to mention the content of that conversation and uh, and what we talked about but um, might be some some good potential there uh, as far as the for the club so uh, also included the AWRL contest calendar there was a contest uh, I think it was uh, 220 and up uh, on the first and second but the the letter went out afterwards so I didn't uh, include that in there but there's a couple contests uh, in here and then also a link to a, another site for third party site for other contests and just as a reminder if you would like to have your uh, contest scores included in the newsletter just send them to the club email address and we'll put them in there also uh, a reminder we have links to uh, ham threads uh, which you can get uh, jackets with the club logos and hats and uh, polo shirts um, there's probably there's a few other options in there. Uh, I'm also looking at some other options to try to uh, have some other club logo things available for us uh, without maybe going through like a massive minimum order. I know we had uh, talked about t-shirts at one of the club meetings and then COVID hit and a lot of things fell by the wayside. Um, so I may have a line with some um, something like that to where we don't have to meet such a large minimum order. And another thing I really look for is for uh, members to be able to you know if you just uh, you wear your t-shirt out or you decide you want one later and you didn't get one the first time just to be able to order one t-shirt without having to pay a exorbitant amount of fees for whatever so uh, I'm looking at that and hopefully uh, get that set up it might mean paying a setup fee but it, you know if, if they can service us from that point forward that's kind of what we're looking for um, also, links to our uh, Facebook group page, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, this little AWRL link actually takes you to our profile on their site. And um, that's pretty much it. So uh, I look forward to uh, hopefully getting to uh, getting to see everyone once again if we do the online option and, uh, and you come in by video chat. Um, at least we'll get to see each other. Uh, not quite the same as meeting in person, but uh, hopefully we will be able to uh, to get that back going again. Thank you.